जी सर ओके द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज अ मेजर पार्ट व्हिच इज लेजर्स एंड फील्ड्स बट बिफोर दैट वी गो फॉर फील्ड्स फील्ड स्टेटस वेरिएंट्स Field status variance. Now, what are field status variance? If we just have a look at E zero three. FB zero three. Uh, document list. Double F four two. Execute. Enter. Let's pick any random document. Okay. Now this is a GL expense GL. Now these are fields which are empty. We can make these fields either hidden or obligatory. Obligatory means that some content or narration has to be or some uh, amount has to be mentioned. It cannot be left empty. It should be initialized. So like, for example, text code. So we have field status variants for every sub module. So I'll just copy this because there's a template. Tab two. Field status variants for tab two. Copy all tab two field status groups. Now we have different groups for every sub module for material accounts, for bank accounts, for expense accounts, for material accounts, for adjustments, for trade customs. We go to cost accounts. Additional cost assignments, and we see that cost center is optional. So over here, cost center is optional, so you can fill it or keep it empty. That's the thing. Okay. So we'll just save it. Enter. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll take G04, G002 cost accounts. Cost center required, copy. G02, double click additional account assignment and required entry is cost center. Okay, so I will assign G02 to the GL to expenses. Okay. Save and save. Okay. Next important step is field status variants. Now, field status variants have to be copied to company uh, integrated with company code. Tab 2. Tab 2. Because the name is the same, save it. Okay, this is done. Sir, then we have Farak. Yeah. Okay, fiscal year posting periods maintain fiscal year variant. First of all, I'll assign a fiscal year variant. Tab two, K four. K four is January to December for special periods. Let's save it first. So your fiscal year can be July to June, January, December, April to March. Okay, it can be any. So to maintain it, we have 
we have fiscal variants that we can assign like April to March. Now this is calendar year. Now what is calendar year? That matches the calendar of that year. That will be calendar year. I mean, days, Sundays, Saturdays will be the same. The dates will be the same. And what we are actually using is K4. K4. K4 is, I guess, on K4, 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 K1. K4, January, December is calendar year because it is starting from January 1st to 31st December. Four special periods are for adjustments for month end and year end. Okay. So we can have July to June as well. 12 plus 4, we can have 12 plus 2 or 12 plus 6. Depends on your business process. Okay. Now that we have assigned, we will have to assign another one that is posting period variant. Posting periods. Now posting periods, basically, if we come down and see document overview over here we have posting date posting and document date document date is different from a posting date posting date is only updated when the document is updated in the financials in the books and on the date it is updated that date is then updated in this field okay if this posting period that is February is not open this document cannot be posted it will not allow us okay so let's define a variant new entries tab 2 tab 2 save Okay, this is done. <clears throat> now we will assign to the company code. That's how it is done. That's how the integration is done. Okay. Uh, let's assign it and then we'll open and close the periods. Tab two. Tab two. Okay, open and close posting periods. We will say maintain all. And we have this template 01 from SAP. We can also copy this, but what we'll do is we'll go for a much more refined. Double F42 because we have passed an entry in this company code. So this is a working company code. So we'll select all these and copy as. And then I'll explain what this is all about. Tab two. Save. Now, from account to account, this is the range for these heads of accounts. And what are these heads? Let's check this. Now this plus is valid for all account types. All means GL, cash and bank, material, vendor, customer, assets, everything. A for assets, B for customers, K for vendors, material, GL accounts, and contract accounts. 
contract accounts is for utility companies like gas and um, electricity companies. They have contract accounts. So account is starting from the very first beginning to the very end of the series and it is allowing period one of 2024, which is January to December 2024. This period two is special periods, which is 13 and 16, which is but the sole purpose is to use adjustments for year end activity. Okay. We can give a different date, but the period can be different. If you look at it, period two. Okay. For example, let's go back. FB01. FB01. L. Okay, period 13 and document date is 20. Let's say uh, adjustment 5000 Feb 02. Now, this can be any adjustment. Uh, Enter. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. It was adjusted. B zero one L. Invalid date posting. Oh, okay. Let's say zero two. You want in period thirteen. It's not allowing it right now, so let's look at it afterwards so period 13 to 16 are for adjustments in your books for taxation for assets for depreciation for unreconciled accounts okay okay opening closing periods are done if you want to see what have we uh, configured so far we go for global parameters Global parameters, tab two, double click, and we have chart of accounts. Company is not yet made. <clears throat> Negative postings permitted, manage posting period, propose fiscal year defined default value date. And what else? Tax reporting date active. Business area, no business area. Financial statements are not required. Fiscal variant is already assigned. Global company code is not yet assigned. VAT registration, that can be assigned over here. And fiscal variant, posting period variant has been already integrated and assigned. Okay, now let's move to the next part. Okay.
global parameters now comes the ledgers very important ledgers ledgers are very important define settings for ledgers and currency types Okay. Leading ledger, standard ledger, extension ledger. These are the first parts that we'll discuss, but let's first do some company code settings and then we'll do currency conversion settings. Tab two. Okay, teapot industries, local currency type and currencies, freely defined currencies, all are empty, global currency, all are empty. Double click. Now, over here, we have to make some changes as per the ledger requirements. And since we have already assigned fiscal and posting period variance, these conditions are met. The accounting principle used in this ledger will be gap. Functional currency will be 10. Okay. And enter. Okay. Accounting principle can be any. Okay. 60 is IFRS. So company code currency is, is maintaining its books in So the company is maintaining its books in AED, but what if the company requires the mother company, head company, head office requires another currency for that? We go for currency conversion settings. And over here, we will do new entries. Tab. Tap two. <clears throat> Currency type. Reporting currency. Why one currency will be euro and source. Source will be zero zero exchange rate type will be standard translation posting date will be your translation type date now if you talk about source currency this source currency is source currency <clears throat> document currency what is a document currency? Let me tell you that. Enter. Currency. This is the document currency in which it was entered. Okay. This is document currency. Okay. This is document currency. So let's save it.
Okay. Reporting currency. Now, what is reporting currency? Let's go to currency types. Page down. Why one reporting currency and legal valuation? Okay. <clears throat> Currency will be euro in which in which it will be reported. Okay. Let's add another one. Tap two. Hard currency or global company currency. Let's try to add this over here. SAR, Saudi Real document currency. M posting date, save. Okay, so we have three currencies now, company code, which is AED. <clears throat> One we have is reporting currency euro, and other is global company currency, which is, it is not allowing global currency. Okay, global currency will be different, and it has grayed out. It should be a little different. Different in the sense, uh, 60, page up, 60, global currency, legal valuation, global currency, okay. Global currency conversion, let's see what it has. It's not here. So company code currency is denoted by 10, controlling is 20. And 30 is group currency, okay? Let's do one thing. Let's delete this part. Tab 2. Just a second, Noman. Tab two. Let me configure this and then we'll wrap it for today. Then I'll take your question. Reporting currency GVP. Let's take GVP instead of any other. GVP zero M posting date. GBP. Okay. Now, if you go to ledger, let's 
zero uh, company code setting. Now, Y one, Y two. Okay, save. Because we have already defined this for company code level. Okay, Y1, Y2, double click. Global currency is still missing. Oh, and it's really slow. It's very slow. Um, it's responding very slow. 